The Evil Evo is, um, is a pretty special project. We all kind of dreamed of sort of having, you know, in reality, a 190E Evo 2, sort of like that dreamy sort of thing that you would never see over here in North America. So we decided to make it our, on our own. We did do a lot of scanning, a lot of digital work on it. We'll, we'll scan a part, uh, design it, put it to put it into use and scanning just becomes part of like the standard daily flow. Having a scanner handy, it really minimizes the amount of effort that you need in measuring something. So you would just quickly scan it and then that gives you enough data points to really design off of, to minimize all the, you know, prototyping back and forth and designing something um, on the car. As we started evolving in projects, I think the free scan combo with the latest technology is such an improvement. We utilize it for everything. So a lot of stuff now, because we're trying to elevate our game and make everything actually functional properly, not just look good. So traditionally, a lot of custom shops focus more on aesthetics, whereas now we're transitioning more into making really good cars. So being able to scan and rever reverse engineer stuff helps us a lot with fitment. So our accuracy is way better, our finished product weighs better, and being able to jump off with the scanner and then into CAD and then into some of these new manufacturing processes has made our end product almost not look custom anymore. Like for, you can get to almost the OEM level with some of our finished products utilizing all this technology. Us working to higher levels of uh, precision. So we're getting into a lot more like, like designed and CNC machined pieces, a lot more reverse engineering of say, you know, motor parts and things like that, where the precision that comes from the free scan combo is allowing us to achieve that in a, in a much quicker, much more accurate way. Because you're working in like, once you scan it, you're working in a real space without having to be at the car. Like you can try your idea in space, like in digital space before you try to apply it to the car. So you kind of know what your constraints are before you get too far in it before you get too heavily invested in the trying to make things. And then the fitment side of it, like I say, is just, it's perfect because it'll account for all these little anomalies that you normally wouldn't do it. I think we were scanning a, a weird trunk lid of a Skylark, which isn't a, which isn't a big piece, but with this free scan combo, it's able to use the lasers to even scan the rolled off edges of the body panel. That way when we're scanning, like when we're designing like a real wing, let's say, we could design it really accurate to where the edge of the panel rolls off of. So I guess the piece would go right on the tangent edge. Yeah, the accuracy of these things now is insane. Like it's, and now it's just part of our everyday thing. It's like, hey, it's like the, the most casual thing around here. Like Alex, if you scan this quick for me, please, because I want to do this. It's part of our everyday. I don't think there's a project in the shop right now that we haven't used it for. Using the scanning technology in our, in our standard daily flow now has become part of the process that, to be honest, it would be hard to imagine it not being there now. It was a really, really smooth transition going from my old world way into the new world era of digital uh, 3D measuring with scanning, um, digital sort of uh, design work in, in the programs that we use um, because it's changed the way that we look at things, the way that we approach things and changed it for the better by like major levels. 3D scanning and all the technology just allows us to make our visions, like what we see. Because traditionally like you have a lot of great ideas, but it's the execution. So then it goes through all these different layers where it's like, this is what I envision in my head. This is paired to my abilities. This is paired to my tools. Then the end result might not look like what that vision was in your head. But now with this technology, it looks exactly the way you had it in your head. So it's just made everything so much better and so much easier. So yeah, I can't see doing anything without it now. Like it's just another tool in a toolbox. Implementing things like the free scan combo, the scanning technology has allowed us to move so much smoother in our daily flow 
to go from like what is still just a mental creative idea to create something that is now tangible that we can put our hands on with almost zero uh, mistakes. Yeah, with the free scan combo that we have now, I feel like there's no way around it in, anymore in this design world. That it's just, it's just a crucial part of the tool that you wouldn't go without um, in the design process. And the projects here are so diverse. You know, we have parts like Tim's Evo Evo to a hard rod that we do, you know, all the little parts of, you know, design languages that I get to learn. And, you know, being able to create ideas into real life is really my favorite part. And I think, you know, Shiny 3D is a big part of why we are able to make that happen.